Hi guys, in this video we are gonna have a look at how to motion track in After Effects then use the same data in Blender. So this video is just step by step. If you are interested you can watch it till the end because I will be explaining every single step. So thanks for watching, uh, let's begin it. So uh, I'm using a footage downloaded from Paxel.com. I will put the link in the description to the same footage if you are so here is the footage I'm going to drag in, drop it into our timeline. So here we go. We have a footage here. Uh, and yeah, okay. So it's 26 seconds long and I don't want to be that much long. So I'm going to trim or you can call it, I'm going to split it on 16 second and come to edit, split layer and delete the, the remaining layer from here. And we have 16 seconds. And now the composition is empty after 16 seconds. So we can come to composition, composition settings, and I'm gonna make the duration of it to 16. So the in frame will be 16, and we will not uh, supposed to, to have a longer clip. Okay, so basically this is the clip. And now if you click track camera and it will start tracking it, Come to advance and click detailed analysis in order to get a detailed track. It might take time, but it makes some accurate trackers and it started tracking it. It is uh, 479 frames and it might take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll restart it again when it's finished. Okay, so guys, it's solving the camera and I think we are about to finish it. Okay, uh, let me just wait for these. And I think it's finished. Yeah. Yeah, it's finished. The trackers are pretty small. In order to make them bigger, you can come to track point size and increase the percentage to make it bigger. Okay. So here's the point. We have that tracker and now we can generate our solid plan, uh, somewhere. I think it will be perfect. If I just create solid, if you play, okay, let me, let me just check it out how it's going. Okay. Okay, let me just hit Control C because it was very far away, and I think I need something in right about here. Get solid, and maybe oh, Control Z because I didn't like it. And I think I need uh I don't know I don't know. Okay, let me just go forward. Okay, 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 okay. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, I think this is perfect. As you can see, it stick to the ground, and this is what we want. It's pretty easy, you know. And uh, let me just check it out. Okay, guys. Yeah, it's working. I loved it. Okay, so the question is how to export that data into Blender. It's a question of every beginner because it's pretty hard for some people, but it's pretty easy because we got a script that can do this job for us. What is the script? I'll put the link to the same script if you're interested. Here's the script. Export composition data to .json. And .json is the format that Blender can read. And this is what we want. So in order to import this data, you have to have this script. And you can just, if you download the file from the link in the description down below, uh, download it and then click run script file and go ahead to the directory where you downloaded the file and click it and it will be run and you will get it to here. Or you can also click install to install it forever in your, uh, in your After Effects and you will be able to export the data into .json. So let me just show you how to do it. Let me just select everything we have in that, in the timeline, click file and move ahead to the script. Go and click export composition data to JSON, click it and select a folder where you want to save it. I'm going for this folder. I'm going to name it like a track or something. Tracking, hit enter and click export. That's it. Your data is now exported in .json format and now we will be able to import the same data into Blender. Let me just go into Blender in a second. Okay, so here we are in Blender and now it's time to import the data that we just exported from After Effects. Now select every piece of shit and delete it because we always had it. And now we go ahead to the file, import, and we got this add-on. Yeah, 
I, you may think that we don't have you don't have that add-on in your blender well i will put the link to the same add-on you can download the add-on just move ahead to edit preferences and go ahead to add-ons and click install uh the file that you have installed go ahead to the, the directory where you have the zip file that you have downloaded from the link in the description and click install add-on and that's it now just turn it on i have already turned on let me just search it here we go you have import after effects composition and that's it you will have the same option as i have import import composition data and if you are still not getting it i have already made a video on it so you can also check it out uh, i will put the link to the video in the description uh, i might edit some more stuff into that video but just ignore it because i have explained every single step on how to install it how to download it all of those things and you will also be able to get some more information in that video because it was it was not just a special video for this topic so that's why i have done it okay so let me just click off the defect composition data and move ahead to the directory where you have saved the composition data from after effect and click import ae data so now we have uh, all of those uh, stuff we have camera we have plan and we have also the solid uh, okay so what's this front plan for it is actually the video that uh, we have imported into after effect and we don't really need it just select it and hit x and delete it and that's it okay so now we have camera and the solid object now hit a select everything if you have a closer look into it as you can see it's starting from zero you're supposed to make it to one because blender timeline begins from one and that's something you have to keep in mind and the other thing that you must know that the frame rate of your video the video that i'm using is having 29.97 frame frame per second and if you have a different situation you can make it according to your video because if you don't make it it will slide around and it will not be a perfect track anymore but you just click and make sure to have the perfect frame per second and also the resolution it also does matter for so many clips and you are uh, another thing that i want to mention here is i will put the link to the same footage in the description down below you can check it out um if you're interested in so that's it let me just go to camera view and we have okay so we don't have any click in our camera select the camera and move ahead to the camera settings click background image and expand it click add image movie clip and click open i will put the same i will put the link to the same footage that i'm using in this video in the description down below so you will be able to use the same footage and yeah learn from it you know so uh here's the here is the clip that i have used okay so let me just click it and we have that clip here as you can see uh the the plan here is stick to the ground if you scale it up you will be able to see it but before doing anything else let me just change the transfer orientation to local because uh how can i explain okay how the locals work let me just turn on gizmo here uh let me just change it to global well in global system if you rotate an object like that the axes are the same as here okay but in local, when you rotate something, as you can see, the axis changed. If you rotate it on Y axis, let me just ch change it. And as you can see, the axis changed without without being changed like that. OK, so that is this is why local is important for some scenes. And yeah. OK, so let me just place it to here. Uh, let me just scale it up like that and move it to here. Uh, let me just just okay so I'm, i just want to show you how it stick to the ground let me just scale it down on x-axis as you can see it's perfectly doing its job and this is what we are supposed to do okay so one thing that we have to do is uh we want to have a truck here coming from there and uh i don't want to have that car because uh it's like illusional and if you have something else in the scene i have i will have a car here i will have a truck here and if it's not representing the same environment it will look fake in order to avoid this i'm gonna go for this frame like uh the frame will start from 90 something like this and then we will not have that car 
like we will have it but it will be just a beginning of the video and even no one will be able to notice it but if you have a full core and if you have a cgi model here it will be hard to make the same as the first as the real model because we should make an environment that reflect the same stuff and we don't have hdri as the car does have because car is existed there and if you don't have the same environment other car will not react to the environment the same way as the first car and this is why we have we have made our first frame to 90 yeah let me just make the opacity to 100 percent okay so i've speak so much uh, sorry for that okay so now it's time to add our truck before adding the truck let me just place this uh this uh, shadow catcher object perfectly let me just move it onto z axis and uh, to here maybe i'm gonna scale it on x axis like that and yeah okay so let me just scale these on z axis as well move it on z axis scale it on z axis okay 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 let me just scale it on x axis like that as you can see it's perfectly aligned with the with the fence i think yeah okay this is what we want hit control s and save your blender file because if you don't save your work it can be it can be very bad you, you can lose the data i need i don't i don't want to i don't want to be in, in trouble okay let me just save it okay okay so now it's time to add some truck into the or scene uh i'm using a truck downloaded from uh sketchfab i think and uh, i will put the link in the description to the same model i'm also using energy drink model uh so you can check both of the model uh in the description down below uh i will make animation for it and uh it will be easier so let's make and import the model so let me just go to file import and let me let me just check it out so here's the model with some animations uh it's all from every frame with some animations and if you want to know how i made this animation make sure to comment it because i will make it i will make the same animation in my next tutorial uh because it's a little bit tricky and if i started explaining it it might take a while because there are constants tires animation and some of the basic animations and i think it's pretty easy because if you have a look at these uh have tire rotating on some axes and yeah uh, I will I will just give you the same model for free and uh, I will put the link to it. You can add any kind of model here. Uh, it is, let me just go to material view. It's a Red Bull energy drink. You can add any kind of model into it. It's totally free and yeah, subscribe. You, this is what I want you. Okay, so here's the model. Uh, let me just, let me just, just add it to, to where I want it. Uh, okay. So let me just go to camera view. Oh, oh, it's it's blocking it. It's blocking the camera at all. Let me just go to camera view and let me just hide it. I want the truck to be here. So let me just select the, the truck empty. Click shift ace selection to cursor. Okay, so it's pretty big, I think. Let me just make it smaller and move it like that okay 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 something like this oh i don't know why, why it's happening like that okay so let me just turn on uh, the solid because i don't have an idea where oh i have kept the model in the ear that is why it's floating make sure it says stay down ground you know oh 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 no 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 where is going okay so here it is and i think i have edited it far away from the main scene okay so let me just move it now i can hide the shadow catcher oh i made it very smaller <laughs> okay Okay, okay, okay. Let me just move it first and scale it up something like this. Okay, let me just move it to hand, scale it up, turn on solid layer, scale it up, and turn off the solid layer. Grab into X, grab into Y, grab into X, something like this. 
okay i think it's pretty smaller and i need to make it bigger like that move it up because it must stay in the ground not below the ground okay 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 let me just move it okay so let's see where it's moving let me just make the ending frame to higher number okay so it's moving the wrong direction i think i should move it here but first we need to change it to global it's moving to the side i don't know why is that happening I think I have to change the final keyframe. Let me just make it location rotation. Turn on the auto keyframing and rotate it. Okay, I'm just fixing it because it's a little bit messed up. I have make it, I've made it for the previous animation and uh, it was a little bit different. Okay, so let me just rotate it on the z-axis. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's uh, it's fixed, I think. Yeah. Hit Control S to save it. Yeah, save your work. This is what you are supposed to do. I don't know why it's very okay if you have a look at these okay let me just make the ending frame to 400 maybe it's still moving to the side and uh, I think I'm gonna make it 450. Let me just move it to there and add a keyframe. So it moves straight. And yeah, that's fine. You know, it was pretty easy to make these kind of animations. You know, you can add any kind of product into it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, okay. One thing I forgot is the lighting. Well, I will put the link to the same HDRI in the description down below if you're interested. Uh, after using the HDRI, you will just be able to make it automatically because it's not very hard. I'm gonna. Use that as the arrow, hit Control S, turn on the plan and go to render view to see what is going on. Oh, we are in EV. Let me just change it to cycles and uh, let me just make the viewport denoised and make the film to transparent, something like this. And select the plan, go to object data, go to visibility, make it a shadow catcher. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Now it does look realistic. You can also add more cars into your scene. It it's totally up to you. You can just tweak around. You can add your own car, your own product. You know this is wholly up to you. This is this is totally up to you. What kind of animation you, you want to make? As you can see, we got some perfect shadows. We got some perfect lighting going on. So it needs some perfect subscribe you know yeah one subscribe please and like this video share it comment it if you want to have a look at how i made the animation i will make the next tutorial because i don't want to mix animation with vfx and products so if you're interested do a comment feel free to ask anything in the comment section below i will make the animation tutorial because i think it's very long for now uh, and i will make the next video on the same animation and i will explaining everything as i explained right now uh, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next one. Bye.